I'm just gonna work this time. Ok, madonna, ragazzi, un casino sto YouTube. It's so difficult. You didn't even want me around. Giù, seduto. 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 Pancino, seduto. Sit. Sit. Why do you love me? Second time, it's the second time. We had a problem, a lot of problems. We have a lot of problems. I have. He has problems too. Okay. Dynamite. La bomba, la bomba! A little bit of dance because you are probably joining the live now. So, welcome to the first YouTube live. I'm watching. <laughs> Welcome to our first live. Yeah. Here we are, back again. <laughs> it's so difficult. Okay, I want to say something. We were doing we were doing Facebook live before and it was super easy because it was just just it was just a camera. Now we have the logo, we have we have so many things to deal with. Pacino, how do you feel? So, I want to see how many followers, how many people are connected now. I can see it from here, probably. Four people watching now. Do you see something, Mario? We have Mario here. Yeah, we have plenty of people. We have? Yeah, How many? 62. I see 62. I'm doing everything on the iPhone, and we have Mario there who's gonna help us, he's like changing the graphics and everything. Mario, come stai? Hello. This is Mario. <laughs> Mario is gonna help me. If something goes wrong, it's Mario's fault. <laughs> no, I'm joking, he's a good guy, he's very good. He's the best one. Okay, Pancino. So, this is a kind of experiment. It's the first live on YouTube, and it's, I'm super excited, I'm nervous. I would love to see your comments, but it's, this is just a beta version, so we will improve it. Uh, feel free to comment whatever happened, if it's some, some, there's something you don't like, something it doesn't work, some errors, some ideas and suggestions, feel free to write us. So, I am doing this live for two reasons. The first one is because I like doing live for you. And the second one is because I would love to show you something in this live. So YouTube Live is going to be like a show when we show you, where we show you our latest videos, for example. And we have a, uh, a video that we want to show you, uh, that we did it because you asked us a lot about it. So somebody from Italy probably didn't understand. Facciamo questo live per farvi vedere dei, uh, dei video. Per, per giocare insieme, insomma, per fare live, perché a me piace un sacco fare live e, e perché vogliamo farvi vedere i nostri nuovi video con questa, con, con YouTube, in questa maniera possiamo farvi vedere anche i video e possiamo interagire. So, we want the first, I mean, the topic, l'argomento di oggi is, and what, I don't know why the music stopped, is how to fly with your dog. Okay, this is a cool thing, do you see? We have the graphics right now, this is the magic of of the live on YouTube. Can you hear me? I hope it's gonna work. I mean, we have the microphone. We have another microphone there catching the music. So it's like, it's pretty professional. Okay, so fly with your dog. We received a lot of questions about how to fly with your dog. And, and then I, I know, I mean, I have been traveling a lot with Pancino. We took a lot of flights together. Pancho is always on the plane. So I have a lot of information, information I want to share with you. 
and I decided to make this live to show you a video and to answer your questions. So we have some questions that we got from you uh, on, on Facebook and, and on YouTube as well. So we're gonna ask your questions. But first of all, Pacino, this is the dynamo. So I press it to, in, to make Pacino wake. He likes the sound and he, woo, he's freaking out. So, before we start with the Q&A, I want to share with you, with you another experiment. It's something that if you like it, we're gonna do it more. We're gonna do more. So, it's pretty trendy right now. Sorry, the microphone is slow, going down. To do vlogs. You know vlogs? Sorry, okay. So vlogs is like a blog video where you tell a story about your day, what you did. And I decided to make a vlog about uh, how to fly with your dog. So I took the fly. When I was flying from LA to New York, I bring my camera, I brought out my camera, and I filmed everything. So I want to show you a video of six minutes about me and Pancino going from LA to New York. Enjoy. Dai Pancino, su. Dobbiamo andare a New York. We gotta go to New York. Ready to go. <laughs> bye bye, sweet. Driver is late. Hey, hi. How are you? Oh. Thank you. The dog stays with me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Can I can I tip through the app? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't yeah. have cash with me. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. See you. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah, open chino. The flight is 45 minutes late. punch you to pee before we take off. Okay, but you, let's have a walk. The last pee in LA. Okay, Pancho went to the bathroom, so he's gonna be in his bag from now until New York. We need it, dai. Yo, dai, dai, dai. Bravissimo. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Okay, last time I did the metal detector, I forgot my watch in Rome. This time, I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh my god, my shoes! A good thing of traveling with the dog is that when you go to the metal detector, you don't get through the machine that scans your body. You just do another line and they check your hands with a piece of paper to see if you have explosives with you. The flight has been delayed. We don't know what to do. Maybe we can do some yoga. Okay, stretch your spine. Yeah, like that, Pancino, bravo!
Italy, same. This is my my first vlog. And it's so difficult to manage a dog, food, luggages, tickets. I'm so hungry. Hmm. Gina. I like that. Take care. Yo puedo comprar agua y me tengo mi tarjeta de crédito para sacar mías. Here we are, everybody. Hi, back to studio. So as you saw, Pancino, when we fly, it's super quiet. He sleeps all the time. But I know that you have a lot of questions because you want to bring your dog with you, and it's fantastic to travel with your dog. I think it's like bringing a piece of family with you wherever you go. It's great. È bellissimo viaggiare col proprio cane. Quindi so che avete un sacco di domande, un sacco di persone vogliono provare a uh, vogliono viaggiare col cane, quindi I will try to help you as much as I can. So, we are doing now a little question and answer based on the question you asked me on Facebook and on YouTube a couple of weeks ago. So, I try to answer one by one if I can. So, let's start with the first one. Okay, Katie, hi. What kind of documentation does the dog have to have? Do you have to buy him a seat? Uh, what if he starts barking? Okay, so let's start with the number one. Uh, what kind of documentation does a dog have to have? First of all, I want to tell you that if you want to fly with your dog and the dog is small, the dog can fly in the cabin. And small means uh, less than 20 pounds, meno di 10 kg. Okay, these are the standards. Every fly company is different. I'm gonna put a link with some good advices about fly, fly companies and what are the requirements. Because every country has its own rules and every dog has its own rule. Every fly company has its own rules. So what I'm saying now and just my experience, I encourage you to make a research. So Katie, the documentation, okay, first of all, you have to book the flight for you, then call the flight company and book for your dog. You call them and you say, I'm gonna fly with a dog, a small dog. They're gonna take a place in the plane for your dog. And then he's gonna have his place that is gonna be under your seat, as you saw in the video, it's not gonna be on a seat. And, and, you, and, and you just take, reserve the, the, the ticket for the plane. Then you will need, a, and this is the ticket, I mean, I tell you after. So, you mean, you will need a passport. If you go outside, like in the US or in the Europe, uh, I need the passport because in the passport you show that you have the vaccinations, I show you. So Pancho has the vaccination that are covered for the rub, rubbish, rubbish, I don't know how to say that, la rabbia, rabbit vaccination, he is covered, he can fly. 
So ask to your vet about what are the requirements for the vaccination. But you have to show it with something. So I, I went to ASL. ASL is in Italy. In America is USDA probably. So every country has its own. The vet, vet knows everything about it. Then before your flight, like a week before the flight, you will, sh you will ask that to the veterinary. They make like a visit to your dog. It's just a visit to, to prove that the dog is is, is uh, healthy, okay? He's gonna take the flight, he's not gonna have problem in the flight. It's just a normal um, visit for the flight company. They want to know that the dog is fine. So this is, you have to do it 10 days a week before the flight. And then when we go to the desk and you, you, you do the check-in, you should, you have to pay. You have to pay for your dog. And they're gonna give you a boarding pass. Ah like that you see animal with animal so you will fly with your dog uh, do you have to buy him a seat no he's gonna be under your seat very close to you and what if he starts barking I don't I have never seen dogs barking never seen dogs barking in the plane if it happens, there are so many, so many babies crying in the plane that it doesn't matter if a dog starts barking, it's normal, I mean, it's the plane. So next question. Are you sleepy, Pancino? Let's try with a dynamite. <laughs> Do they make you keep oh, a crystal? Do they make you keep the dog under the seat? for the whole flight or can you sneak them into your lap? That's a good question. Okay, the most important thing is that the dog have to be in his bag during the landing and the taking off. After that, you can do pretty much whatever you want. It depends on the flight company, somebody are strict. But I saw a lot of people taking the dog out on the laps for the entire flight or for a little bit of flight. Little piece of life. I never do it with Pancho because then I'm pretty sure that he doesn't want to go back again. So I know him. I keep him down. Sometimes I I cuddle him. I, I caress him. Lo carezzo. Quindi il cane può stare sulle gambe solo dopo il decollo o prima dell'atterraggio. Può uscire dalla dalla gabbietta. Potete tenerlo in braccio per quanto volete. Dipende chiaramente dalla compagnia aerea, alcuni sono sederi e non vogliono, però un sacco di gente lo fa, quindi non penso che ci siano problemi. Ok, next question. Do do ok, Jeanette, do dogs ear, ear, ears pop like people's and where uh, does they uh, go the bathroom? Ok, so I don't know if Pancho has the same problem of us with the ears. Non so se gli si tappano orecchie, he can't tell it to me, so I don't know. Probably yes, I think so. But he's super quiet. When we fly, he sleeps. And I want to say that there is a strong connection be between dogs and owner. Pancho looks at me when he flies. If I am calm, he's calm. So I think if, if you are, if you are not nervous during the flight, he's going to be calm. E dove fanno i bisogni? Where do they poop? Uh, I don't know. I, I have I have a pad, okay? You know a pad? And in, inside the bag, un tappetino dentro la, la borsa. <laughs> Never poop or pee inside of it, but a lot of people bring the, the pad in the back of back of the plane and they bring their dog and the dog pee and poop. So I don't know how your dog is trained. Potete portare il cane dietro nella coda dell'aereo con il vostro tappetino. Vi mettete lì dietro e il cane fa i suoi bisogni come se foste a casa. I, I don't think it's a problem. Ok, next question. What does Pancino do if he sees another dog? Rita. Uh, he starts shaking. Like... But nothing happens. Once... Cioè, quindi se, se Pancio vede un altro cane inizia a tremare perché vuole conoscerlo. Però non è mai successo, non sono mai successi problemi durante il volo. It happened that he had another dog very close. At the beginning he was nervous, of course, because he didn't know the dog and he wanted to meet him and he wanted to be sure that everything was, was, was fine. But as soon as he smelled enough the dog, he started sleeping. So at the beginning he was a little bit nervous. But it's always, if you are nervous, they are nervous. If you are uh, relaxed, they are relaxed. So 
I extremely encourage you to be relaxed on the flight. He's gonna be relaxed with you. Next question. Pancino, dai, stai su, stai su, stai su. Okay, Anna. Does he get thirsty? What happens if he needs to pee or poo? Okay, ho detto. Se deve fare la pipì o la pupù, he's gonna do it in the plane. No problem. You can go on the back of the plane and put your pad and the dog is gonna pee and poo. Quindi se deve fare la pipì o la pupù, mettete il pad. Il tappetino dietro, in coda all'aereo, vi, vi mettete lì tranquilli, c'è spazio e potete fargli fare i bisogni, senza problemi. Ci sono anche i, 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 poi, i bagni dove cambiano i bambini, ci sono i fasciatoi, quindi non è troppo diverso da avere un bambino, penso. And if it's thirsty, uh, I give him some water. You can, there are, I give him glasses when the, the flight attendant comes with the water, I put a glass under it. He's, he never drinks. He drinks. He drinks when we go back home, he drinks a lot, but in the plane he's not comfortable. But you can go on the back part of the, of the plane with your dog and try to make him drink. drink. But after the taking off and after the land, and before the landing, of course, never when you, when you have the seat belt sign on, the dog has to be in the bag. Okay, next question. Prossima domanda. Katie. Oh, questa qua l'abbiamo già vista, Mario. The same. This is the same one of before. Ok. How do you handle with anxiety or barking all over the airport? Anna, in the airport he's gonna he's curious, there are a lot of things happening. So Pancho stays in the bag. I don't know what happens. Maybe dogs every dog react in a different way. They are probably scared. They stay inside. So I don't think they bark. But it's normal, if they bark, they bark, they are dogs. Also the babies cry. Quindi se i cani abbaiano in aereo non penso che sia un problema. I don't think it's a problem. Anxiety, you should ask your vet if there are some products for your dogs to make them sleep. I suggest you to have something just in case, but don't give them. I mean, it's like poison. I don't know, you should try. What I did at the beginning, I was putting inside the bag a t-shirt t-shirt, my t-shirt, and Pancho started sleeping for a week inside the bag before taking the flight. So I, it, using the same bag you use for the flight as a bed for him for a week before the flight. So he will knew the place as uh, he will feel it at home. Okay, next question. Uh, Pancino, you're sleepy today, yeah? Samantha, I want to move from Australia to Italy, but only if Fergus, my dog, can be on the plane with me because he's old. How do I get Pancho to be with you? How do you get Pancho to be with you? He can be with you, of course. I don't know how big is your dog, but if it, the dog is small, less than 20 pounds, meno di 10 kg, può volare con te in Australia. But I want to move to Australia. The problem, uh, no, from Australia to Italy, I think it's not a problem. Uh, there is a quarantine in some places, like Australia has quarantine. England has probably quarantine, so you have to check with your vet and online. I'm going to give you a website, so you will see a link to check every country. What are the rules of the country if you can come with your dog or not? Because quarantine is a big deal. Okay, quindi sì, la risposta è sì. Next question. Pancino, cosa c'è? Mi stai addormentando? He's going to sleep. Sto pensando di acquistare un trasporto morbido. Oh, this is a good question. So a trasporto morbido is like a bag. I'm going to buy a bag for, for traveling, like the one I have. Mi sto preoccupando perché, uh, mi sto preoccupando molto perché come misure deve essere 55 per 40 per 20, ma qual, eh, quale cane è 20 cm di altezza? Il mio cagnolino è alto 30. So the restrictions for the bag are very, very, I mean, the, the bags should be small, and, and the problem is that um, sometimes they are smaller than the dog. Okay, but the dog, I, I show you my, the bag I use with Pancino. Pancino, take qua, don't move. So this is the bag I use with Pancino. It's small. Pancino, it, it, you, you can fit two Pancinos here. So it is big for him. Sometimes I saw something a little bit bigger, but the fact is that the dog maybe is like that and the bag is like that. So when you are at the airport, you travel with your bag and the dog is bigger than your bag. But then when you are taking off or you are landing, your dog should be sit and you just try to close it a little bit. His hand, head is gonna be out, doesn't matter. 
The important is that this is like a hand baggage and they want the bag to fit in the space under the seat because if there is an emergency and you have to have evacuate, the bag shouldn't be that big. That's the problem. So if the dog is a little bit bigger, don't, don't worry. I mean, it's normal. The importance is the weight. L'importante è il peso. Se il cane è un po' più alto, l'importante è che sia largo che ci stia nella borsa. Poi quando si, si decolla, magari si mette seduto e il cane si abbassa un pochino. Non penso che sia un problema di dimensione. Uh, quindi non ave, don't be scared about flying, just inform yourself and investigate. I will give you some links to start investigating, but everybody has to find his own uh, things because every destination is different. Okay, do we have other questions, Mario? No? Okay, so we have finished. Pancino, are you sleepy? Dai. Wanna play? Puoi giocare, Pancino? Um, this is pretty much how the, the live, the show, the YouTube show works. So I talk with you, I show you the videos, maybe we will do, I don't know, some video calls, we will have some guests, we will interact with Pancino. There are, I have so many ideas to expand this thing and I would love to do it every week. That's my goal. It's pretty hard, it's so difficult, we had a lot of technical problems, me and Mario today, and I hope uh, to fix everything and to make it once a week. Thanks for watching. The video is going to be online after this live, so you can rewatch it how many times if you have other questions or things that you want to be answered. Uh, please write in the comments if you have suggestions, if there's something you didn't like, if you have other questions about flying with your dog that you didn't find in the link, please ask. I will be happy to help you. Quindi, se avete altre domande, scrivete. Se avete dubbi o suggerimenti su come migliorare questo live, scrivete. La mia idea è di farne una settimana più o meno impostato così, insomma, con un video e un po' di interazione con voi. Ci sarà anche interazione live nei prossimi, quindi you can write and I can answer live, uh, but it takes time. We are learning how, how the platform works. So thank you so much for following us. If you want supporting, to support us, there's going to be a link on Patreon and you can help us to be, do it better with your, with your support, with your offer. You can offer something each video we produce. Thank you so much for watching and see you maybe next week. Next week, uh, I will let you know when it's going to be the next live. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.